everybody, my name is Michelle. I'm volunteering here with Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center, and we're doing our weekly wolf vlog. So I was going to answer a couple of questions. We'll see if we can get some of the wolves to come over. Okay, keep going. Come here. Or we'll go over there. Come here. Be in the video. So uh, the first question that we got today was. How many wolves do we have? We actually have 18 wolves here. We have two that are Mexican greys. We have two Arctic wolves. <laughs> um, Key and I, the little black wolf who is, I was just playing with, he's a British Columbian wolf. And we also have an Alaskan interior wolf that would be Kiara. And then the rest of them are greys or timber wolves. That's actually the same thing. Um, so you can actually see, um, if you were to look around our enclosures, they are about a half acre to a fourth of an acre in size. Um, we actually have the largest enclosures per two animals of any zoo or sanctuary in the U.S. Um, so something that we are very proud of here. There isn't, um, the USDA does have a minimum size for an enclosure, but it's very tiny. It's really not something that a wolf should be in. So we believe that um, freedom is really the most precious thing in life. Unfortunately, our wolves cannot be free, so we try and make them as free as possible, giving them these large enclosures. Um, we also have what's called a day spa. Our day spa is about two acres in size, and it's on the back side of our property. Um, we're planning on building an another day spa of five acres in size in the next week. Okay. So one of the other questions that we had was how many acres would it support to um, have, or how many acres would you have to have to support 25 wolves? Um, it really depends on what you're doing exactly. In, like I said here, uh, we try and give each of our wolves at minimum a fourth of an acre in size. Um, Colorado state law is going to change soon, um, or at least we're trying to get it to change, that any sanctuary will actually require a fourth of an acre per animal. Um, so that's something that we look forward to in the future. But um, it really depends. So in the wild, uh, wolf pack territory can be anywhere from 16 square miles to over a thousand square miles. It really depends on the number of wolves in the pack as well as prey availability. Uh, your larger territories are found more in the Arctic because pre uh, prey is few and far between and you also have larger packs. So that's where you get those over a thousand square miles. Now the average territory size for a pack of wolves, which is about 8 to 12 animals, is about 100 square miles. So um, not too bad, it's a big area, but it's something that the wolves can cover in a day's time. Um, wolves can generally travel anywhere from um, 70 miles in a day if they go at a trot or a lope pace. So that's um, from where we are right now in Divide to Denver. So, um, one last question that we did have from one of our guests was if we have an Adopt-A-Wolf program. Uh, we do have an Adopt-A-Wolf program, but it's not one that you get to take the wolves home. But we actually have um, a sponsorship program. So our sponsorship programs, they are $50, and you can adopt any of our wolves, coyotes, or foxes that we have here at the center. Um, it's a one-time sponsorship fee. You get a picture and information about your animal. You get postcards, stickers, um, as well as an information packet. So if that's something you'd like to do, just give us a call. We do have those um, available in our store as well. So let us know what questions you have. We'd be happy to answer anything about the center, wolves in the wild, coyotes, foxes, uh, really anything wildlife related. And we'll see you next week.